Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero season 2 episode number 13. Uh, this is the season finale and uh, I was waiting for this ep episode uh, like impatiently. Obviously because what happened in the previous episode, uh, we're going to see Satella. We've like sh shown, uh, we've been shown glimpse of Satella and like bits and pieces of her so like uh i think probably this is like his her first introduction to subaru and to us as well so yeah like uh the last scene made me so uh, like impatient for this episode and uh yeah like uh like uh, this is like a perfect way for the season to end and uh, i don't know what's going to happen whether it will like end on a good note or a neutral note or a bad note so yeah like <laughs> like if it is on a bad note like then i'll have to like suffer waiting for part two to come out <laughs> so yeah okay guys so without further ado let's get started with ReZero season 2 episode number 13. okay i'll be putting that uh, subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one, go. And here, and here she is. Okay, okay. And she's starting again. Oh my. Um, no, no, that won't. That's not a good idea. And that's not it, like technically that's not it, but she's angry. Calm down, Subaru. Um, calm down Subaru like like this happened before as well oh what oh my god uh, well well that's because she like did not want you to die like that like <sighs> um what the hell are you saying subaru like Mm. 
Man, this guy, like... Um, I, I don't trust this kid. Um, calm down. My god, these witches are like... <laughs> each has her own quirk. What? Wait, what? What happened? Oh. Oh my god. Damn, these witches. God damn. <sighs> and he's going to reset again. God damn, like now what she he's going to do? Like, I can't blame him. Like, no one can blame him after all of the things he's gone through. Like, it's, it's obvious something like this is going to happen. <laughs> That's why you should, like, die once. <laughs> My god. Wait, did he reset or, like... Let's see. I think people like you a lot, like there are a lot of people who likes you. How was she saved? Like what? It's my wish for you to be saved. Oh, so he did not die, okay. Oh, yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, like he said, 
stuff like he'll kill the great rabbit and all okay oh face this bright <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, I'm also confused about that. Take you to the future you deserve without fail. Okay, that is a big, like, statement. This is supposed to take my hand. Okay. Hmm. If you thought of it, I'm going to draw some. Both your heart and the future's future. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what can you say? Free him from the circles. You have to break that spell. Okay, well, Satella won't show her face. Well, yeah, that was what I was saying. Like, ultimately, it is something that, yeah, that she gave you thinking about you.
Okay. Must come. Yeah. Wait, what? She looks a little, yeah, she is like a splitting image of Emilia. Well, the sounds that make you want to cry. <laughs> well, that's the thing, Subaru never kills. He like, <laughs> the only thing he does is saves. Oh, auto is here. Yeah, like... Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Well, here's one, like, uh, one character who would grieve if Subaru dies, Patrash. What the? What the hell? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least he gets it now. Some kind of barrier? What the hell was that? Wait, so like did he like clear the trials? That is the reason why or something? Okay, so uh, what now? And there's the thing with um uh, Beatrice and Elsa as well. A way to leave the going through the graveyard. Well, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is technically correct. Okay.
and that's like no like they, as they were saying you should like like learn to love yourself first then loving others comes if you can't love yourself you can't love others Mm. Starting line of merit. I expect you to possess the will to care. What? Well, that is kind of correct. And the dome again. I believe you've already faced me. Well, yeah, there's the thing with the mansion. Everything is written in that book. Oh my god. Oh no, wait a minute. I should have seen this coming. I should have seen this coming. Great. Oh my god, so the whole thing is... God damn, what the hell? So that was what he was saying in the previous episode. Like you have to like choose only one, the only only thing that you put above all. Enchanted by those eyes. What? Who is he talking about? Four hundred years ago. Or is he talking about? He's talking about Ekidana, isn't it? Four hundred years. That's also the time when Beatrice was like. And he won't like stop because of. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, this is bad. Mm. 
No, that's not the thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is Ram here? God damn, now what is going to do? Well, one thing fixes itself to another problem comes out. What the? Oh my god, I'm not liking this. This is going to like end in a very bad way. I can feel it. God damn uh, and then I have to like wait for a f for the months for the second part to come out god damn oh. Why is Otto here? Who is this guy? Like, wait, what? <laughs> it's morning. What? Yeah, like what? I, I'm thinking. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, so yeah, this is what the witches were trying to tell him. Like, ask for help. Oh no, it's going to stop and like that? What the? Oh! <laughs> the amount of frustrations I'm going to f like have to endure to wait for the next part to come out my god like <laughs> the funny thing is like <laughs> at least in season one uh, problem there were like problems arising and the problems were like solved at the end of the season and like this is technically like one half of a season it's not a full season but still like the problems that like that were that came out in the beginning episodes in episode one two three in the initial episodes none of them like none of them not even once like solved itself so like the thing with the mansion obviously rem uh, going into coma that and I think like Rem is going to take a long time to come back. I, I don't know why, but like, like, even though like the start of the season, like the season started with Rem going into eternal sleep, like, n like nothing, like none of the things that happened, like helped at least even in a little bit to like wake Rem up, Rem up, like no solutions were found regarding rem so like uh, like super was so what can i say like uh, like um 
busy solving like this sanctuary problem then uh, the mansion problem then like uh, like the trial problem emily's trial problem all of these problems and then echidona all of the stuff like like the problem that the season started with that is like rem going to sleep no solution he had no time to like look for any solution regarding that and so i think like that will take quite a few time i don't know and like i don't know what to think and even if like he gets some kind of lead to bring rem back obviously this is re zero he has to like suffer like almost 100 times more to get to some kind of uh, solution and like and understand like how to bring rem back so that is like another problem and i don't know like what was going to happen and yeah like none of the problems got solved so i'm hoping like i'm hoping that in the second part which is coming out like i don't know when i'll have to check that out uh most probably not in this year uh, probably in the next year so god damn so yeah so like this is kind of a cliffhanger i don't know whether this, you can call this a cliffhanger but uh yeah like like i'm i, I really <laughs> god damn i really want to like like it would be uh, great if like uh, all of the episodes would like all of the 24 episodes were put together and like they really released it one after the other like uh like they're taking a break in the middle but still <laughs> like i don't know like like this is one show that you really don't want a cliffhanger like this is one such show like it will like make you <laughs> make you what can i say frustrated and everything okay so this episode um like i was hoping to get a little more about satella but we got barely anything from her uh, we just like uh went like we we saw her face obviously at the end uh and uh, we got a few things that she was trying to say like first of all like uh, that thing i love you i love you all, all the things that she was saying and uh, uh, she meant that as like she loves subaru obviously and also like she wanted subaru to like love himself as well so like uh, like subaru's mentality is like yeah uh, i'll do everything on my own uh, I'll try everything on my own. I won't ask anyone for help. Obviously, there's a reason of it for it because like nobody knows about the return by death. So that is like a main problem here. Like she, he can't say anything about that to others. So like he does not expect anyone else to understand his problems because his problem is something that sh he can't say. So like this is the kind kind of the reason why he like always tries to do tries to do everything on his own and uh, like that also kind of and also like his uh, personality from the real world that is like he like as far as i can i could say like he was like uh, a shot in uh, like hikikomori as they say and he even like confessed to rem that i like i did nothing i uh, tried nothing i had so much so much time but i just like uh, slept uh, like did nothing just like uh, like read manga played games that's it never went out of my house stuff like that so like that is also like one of the personality problems that he has and that is also like kind of uh <coughs> like is at play here as well so like he is awkward socially awkward and like uh, the return by death does not help it at all like like it helps it in the sense scene uh, in, in the sense that he can come back to life but if you can't say that to others then it poses a lot of problems and uh, also that that is like one of the main reasons why he does not ask for others help and but like uh, yes yeah, as, uh, as the witch has said that he can at least ask for like uh, he can at least do one thing that is ask for help on stuff that uh, the others can help for example uh, at the uh, at the end we see otto coming out and saying that just like ask me for help uh, like why are you like doing stuff like uh, th these uh, like suffering on your own even though you called me a friend before so yeah that is the thing like uh, problems like these uh, were 
like ju just take the mansion for example like uh like in one uh like in, in one like in one uh, what was that uh, when was that just a sec yeah uh, at that time when uh, super like tried to go to the mansion alone like made garfield in, in the middle and uh, stuff like that um like the first thing you should do is like take help obviously because like you you can't deal with elsa and like uh, like I at least had a, a, some kind of a hope that Beatrice was powerful enough to stop Elsa but as we can see like uh, Beatrice is not as powerful as like Elsa is so like Elsa killed Beatrice uh, because of that and, uh, and there's also another girl there I forgot her name like that blue head kid and so like the uh, like it, it's like double the problem so the first thing they should do is like take help and by taking help i mean from someone who is strong to stand at par with elsa uh, a few people come to my mind is number one uh, wilfred uh, his name was wilfred wasn't it that uh, old guy uh, yeah wilfred van astria uh, wilfred uh, julius his name was that blue haired guy who subaru had like a problem with before but they became friends later on uh, i don't know about felix like felix's uh, strength so i can't say anything about that um krush oh no krush has one problem like she forgot a few stuff but obviously like her, her uh, battle strength must not have like went down so krush and uh, who else are there reinhardt but uh, i don't know like uh, reinhardt is like hard to come like uh, like he is like always out of town out of uh, like uh, the city stuff like that so i don't know like whether Rein they will like get reinhardt uh, find Reinhardt at all so like these are the few people as I've said like you should first take their help go to the mansion deal with Elsa and also like this another problem is like uh, Emilia goes mad if Subaru leaves him and like that letter does not uh, like Emilia does not get that letter like that also like makes her mad like she uh, becomes crazy so yeah a lot of problems there are so yeah, like uh, like at least you can do is like take help from people who are strong enough to uh, like fight Elsa. So yeah, like that is the main thing. So and the, as the witches said, like a few like all of the witches had their own like p point of view. Uh, some tried to like uh, accept what Subaru like when Subaru took the choice of killing himself. And some like were angry, like for example Minerva was angry if like as he was like trying to run away and wanted to stop that. And uh, some of them like helped him, like for example Carmilla. And obviously Satella was there to uh, for the emotional aspect. She tried to like emotionally uh, uh, cheer him up. But like uh, like I don't, I can't blame. Like one thing I can say here, like. I cannot blame Subaru for whatever he does because like this kid has gone through, like went through a lot of things and really like I cannot like blame uh, him from anything like even if he like becomes a bad guy <laughs> I, I, I really can't blame him like uh, like like the emotional burden that he is uh, carrying is tremendous and I doubt people would be like saying if uh, like uh, after canning so much stuff and dying so many times the pain and everything so yeah and the thing with echidona is like uh, i can understand like these people are witches we should not forget that like they are witches so uh, like uh, echidona is like doing everything for greed like she wants to know everything and that is also kind of the reason why he like she wants to because like Subaru ha like exhibits peculiar behavior and uh, like he tries to like save everyone and stuff like that after even after like uh, facing so many hardships so like this like this kind of like picks uh, Echidona's in uh, like curiosity and like greed and that is also like kind of the reason why she said that uh, like she fusses about Subaru like she wants to know what Subaru will do later on like that is a great speaking and uh, <coughs> I really hope that uh, we'll get to see the witches again later on 
I'm sure like we'll get to see the witches again. And by the witches, I'm not talking about Ekidona. Obviously, we'll get to see Ekidona because like she is one of kind of like one of the main characters and subtle as well, I hope. And uh, I'm talking about the other witches who are like getting a minor role in this anime. I don't know if like in their like uh, they'll get a bigger role in the upcoming seasons, but I really hope we can see them because like they're quite uh, intriguing. And uh, <sighs> what else was in this episode um oh yeah uh, ekidona kind of like uh, gave him like uh, gave subaru uh, a ch like a deal in which uh, she said that uh, if you take my hand i'll make sure that you reach your happy ending by the end but 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 uh, yeah the subaru kind of like rejected it because just a sec uh yeah he said that um i like i'm afraid of getting hurt and stuff like that so like he wants to as far as i understood uh he wants to like do it in another way like in ekidona's way would like uh like if he chose a, a, like a took, took ekidona's hand then it would be like uh, she as she said that you have to die a lot of times and uh, like death will be playing a big role if she if he took Ekidona's hand so like as he said that no i'll find some other way i think like he was talking about something like that and uh Ekidona kind of like i think gave a hint later on like uh about garfield like uh just a sec what did she say the poor stupid garfield fears the outside world um to free him from his circumstances, you would have to break that spell. Okay, so like, so the hint is like you have to do something with Garfield. Uh, I hope like that kind of helps him. Uh, like, like Subaru takes that hint and does something about that. Uh, and like, I think like she, she was probably talking about like making Garfield an ally so that like they can go and um, deal with uh, Elsa and everyone because I, uh, as Frederica said like Garfield is a lot stronger than uh, her so I hope that he is able to like take them uh, take uh, Elsa down and then Subaru like comes back and Otto uh, says a few things and here it is like as I was saying like you should like uh, love yourself first and understand that people love you too and people grieve when you die and Petrasha was the f first one who kind of like made Subaru realize that and uh, like I hope like Subaru keeps this in mind and uh, like because stuff he was saying uh, in the in front of the witches like he was saying stuff like like who would even like uh, no one would grieve even if I died and stuff like that but that is completely wrong like uh, you should definitely know this because Rem is one of the those people and uh, like you've seen Rem grieving for you uh, when you die so like I hope like he keeps this in mind and uh, after that comes out one of the most like <laughs> like kind of shocking thing like I expected Roosevelt to be some kind of uh, what can I say um, a suspicious guy and like doing something uh, behind everything but I should have expected this but I did not expect this at all I don't know why uh, the assassins were sent by him so here's the thing with Roosevelt as far as you can understand uh, he has something that he wants Subaru to do and that is why like he's putting all the hope on Subaru uh, he knows uh, the thing about Beatrice and he has probably some kind of uh, connection with Ekidona obviously because he said that 400 years ago and as far as I can remember 400 years ago Beatrice was the one who came so like Beatrice being kind of like the spirit uh, uh, employed by uh, Ekidona and she also has the tome so I'm guessing like Rezwal also has some kind of um, a uh, connection with Ekidona as well and he also said kind of said that don't think that you know Ekidona the most this is another word that kind of like uh, hints towards that as well so yeah as I was saying so like uh, he has some kind of like a wish a hope that he has put on Subaru 
and for that to uh, be like fulfilled he thinks that Subaru needs to be more uh, what can I say refined as she's, he was saying uh, he needs to be more like uh, toughened up and that is the reason why he like like gave him a choice uh, like either choose this uh, portion where like Emilia is and your loved one is either choose this or choose the mansion uh like choose either one and i think like he expects him to choose emilia obviously because emilia is like uh he like like he loves emilia that's the reason why and uh, that is the reason why like he made like this kind of a thing so that after like suffering loss like super would become um like as he said like more refined more um like uh he would toughen up like <sighs> like this is like uh, yeah like this is like his kind of um, like twisted way of wanting Subaru to toughen up and I don't think Subaru will accept that because obviously Subaru's main motto is save everyone and I'm really glad that is Subaru's main motto because like <laughs> he could have like easily gave up on one of them and all of the problems would have like ended then and there but I'm really glad that Subaru is someone who would like want everyone to be happy like get an ending and uh, like that is the thing that he is striving for and in the end like when uh, like Ekidona also said that, uh, not Ekidona uh, Satella said that uh, kill me uh, he said that no I'll save you like that is the main motto of Subaru like his main motto is save everyone and that is the reason why he is like suffering so much so yeah uh, I doubt Subaru is like going to take that path because uh, if Subaru takes that path that would like like defeat the whole purpose of Subaru's suffering because he is suffering to save everyone if he like chooses one path and like lets the other path like other people die like then like his suffering holds no meaning holds no reason for so like the suffering for so long so yeah so as i was saying like this was like the problem uh not the problem like the thing with uh roswell and we still do not have the main um reason for roswell's like why he's doing this uh, we kind of got the reason why he's doing it but uh like the main goal of roswell we don't know so yeah uh, i hope like we'll get to see that in the next season and after that like otto comes gives him a big old smack and says that yeah i'm here like uh, you have your friends so you should rely on them more so yeah that was this episode I love this episode and uh, this had like kind of like had uh, wrapped up a few things and I'm glad it did and but yeah like we'll have to wait for quite some time <laughs> for the second uh, part and I'm definitely reacting to the second part as well after it comes out so yeah and um, okay so uh, i'm going to give a small little review not uh, like five minutes review uh, of this whole season like i'm going to say this uh, in the beginning i love this uh, like i've loved this season a lot more than season one uh, like season one has it had its like good parts but i really enjoyed this more obviously because of the witches uh, ekidona and like so many things we got to know all of the backstory all of the like a lot of things got cleared up in this season like season one was like um, people were doing stuff like but we like did not know the underlying re reason behind each and everything but here at least in this season we got a lot of things cleared out and uh, like the picture is a lot clearer and uh, for the animation um, yeah it was like uh, animation was obviously good uh, like just like the first season nothing much to say uh, the soundtrack was as always amazing ReZero soundtrack and like songs are just so good and uh, openings endings were like like top notch like uh, songs and um, what else um story yeah obviously the story was like the main uh, like point like main uh, strength here and uh, yeah i enjoyed it a lot and uh, obviously like uh ReZero is like one of the most fav my my most favorite animes and this season two uh like made it more uh, what can i say uh like like made me like the series more and um, yeah like my what can I say I, like before I would have like gave uh, ReZero uh, like a 9 out of 10 but like after 
watching season two and uh, like after like uh, like thinking about all of the stuff that's going to happen later on and like all of the stuff that's going to come uh, and uh, all of the like unanswered questions and everything <laughs> like I I'm really excited for this and I'm going to give this a rating and I like I said this before I barely uh, like give animes a 10 out of 10 but I'm going to give this uh, anime as a whole a 10 out of 10 because like ReZero is like one of the what can I say um a few animes that I found in recent time that I really loved and uh, like uh, the, like the few animes that I really loved are uh, like uh, s some of them are like Gintama and uh, <coughs> excuse me Steins Gate and uh, s like these type of animals which are quite uh, like old not extremely old but quite old but from the recent times Rezero is like one of the best animals that I've found and I'm really like happy that this uh, anime is like uh, like is, is like so good and like the story is so like amazing and all of the stuff like like I don't know what to say like this is mm, like a few examples where like the protagonist does not have any kind of power and the way they like execute it so like amazingly and uh, so like brutally <laughs> like that is like the real charm of ReZero because like Super has no power and I doubt he'll get any power even in the later episodes like the main thing of Subaru is like the return of death by that that's it he like he knew Shamak a little bit that uh, like that shadow power but like yeah uh, I, I doubt like he will uh, like become strong anytime soon but that is like the main thing like that is like the main uh, like attractive uh, portion of this anime is like without relying on any kind of super uh, power or like super uh, like uh, some kind of uh, strength and all he being like an ordinary kid like by suffering all of these things he's like winning he's like uh, improving progressing in his own story and like this is the main theme of ReZero and I doubt if they will change this anytime soon so yeah and like there are some like the people who kind of like like we one thing we forget all of the times is like the animals that we see uh, the, like each and every main character has some kind of power some kind even if like uh, is extremely intelligent uh, or something some kind of power but like here is like a normal kid this would have happened if like just take me or someone else was like put into like this world this would have happened like we would be like utterly dumbstruck and um, like helpless about everything we won't do like we won't know what to do we would be like frustrated and stuff like this like this is like a real is isekai with a person who has no power like this is like what can I say uh, like this portrays that very well and uh, like there are some people who kind of say like yeah he should suck it up but I don't think like uh, they like at that time when they say like they sh like Subaru should suck it up and uh, quit acting like a baby I think they forget like Subaru is like an ordinary kid and uh, uh, <laughs> and an ordinary kid can't uh, like what can I say withstand this amount of burden this amount of pressure that is going through Subaru and him like withstanding each, everything and still like keeping a positive outlook is like one of the like a, is a, a great big deal and like that is like like I don't know what to say like that is <laughs> like that they should like keep that that in mind that the things that Subaru is accomplishing without having any superpower is immense and uh, yeah like like as I said before like I can never and I, I, I like I, I think that no one should at all like blame Subaru about anything about anything because after all of the things that has happened he deserves like uh, like he deserves no like uh, hate at all and uh, like he deserves <laughs> all the happiness in this world and I really hope and wish that when this anime or when the light novel ends he gets a happy ending
and all the other characters get a happy ending as well because like that is the main thing of ReZero like aim for the happy ending and like getting a happy ending with everyone so yeah that was this uh, yeah about the review as I said like uh, I would give, definitely give like a ReZero uh, 10 out of 10 obviously because of a lot of things uh, as I said before so yeah so yeah guys that was my reaction to the last episode of this season and uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed because uh, subscribing uh, helps a lot and <laughs> makes me happy <laughs> and uh, what else um yeah comment down below anything you want to share anything you want to say about this episode or like uh, ReZero as a whole uh, be sure to comment down i'll be sure to check them out as well and uh, yes i'll be back with a new video and uh, when ReZero comes out like the second part i'll also uh, i'll definitely definitely do that reaction as well so yeah so we'll have to wait so yeah i'll be back with the new video uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day